previously on the Captain Caribou Show. They're crazy and wild, a strange new style from Captain Caribou. If you want fun, then here they come. Get ready, they're insane. Captain Caribou. From a kid's show that was wacko, they're on the air today. But now this show is based on whatever the viewers say. So name the act and they'll react. TV won't be the same. Since we're almost out of beer, and I know we're out of whiskey, uh, what we got to think about this week's show? You guys done anything this week for the show, or done anything at all this week? Hey, you mean the, the five masturbate? Yeah, besides masturbate, Ernie. Hey, well, I, well, I went down to that spa, and I got my ass flushed out. Well, me and Scott, we did another one of those great Aggies to Salem shows. Hell, those hefty boys. They sent us a bad email. They were already putting dug poop in uh, ice cream, so I guess we didn't have anything new for them. But uh, you wait and see what we did this week with corn. Well, why don't you tell us what it's about, and maybe we can use it on this week's show. Well, if I remember right. Got to rub our chins? Yeah. yeah. Rub our chins. Welcome to Ag East of Salem. I'm Troy Nelson, Ag Engineer from South Dakota State University. And I'm Scott Pearson, agronomist from Brown Institute. This week's subject, corn. Checking the stalks, tasting the tassels, and squeezing the ears so that any farmer or rancher can tell whether or not his or her corn is ready for harvest. This year, even though it's been dry, we'll have a good crop of sunflowers this year. Corn! Oh yes, thank you Scott. Corn. We will have a good crop of corn this year. We at Ag East of Salem have developed methods for testing to check if the corn is ready for harvest. We will check the stalks, taste the tassels, and squeeze the ears. No, 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 I already said that. Oh crap, I stepped in duck poop. Jeez, I thought you were harvesting this stuff. Anyway, it's time for the first stalk test. Troy, go pull a stalk. Well, wait a minute, you can't pull a stalk from the end. Well, you need to go in a little ways. You should always pull a stalk six to eight feet from the end of the field. Boy, you state boys aren't a very hardy lot. Let's go on to the tassel testing. You can surely harvest a tassel this time of year since the pollination is already done. And make sure you get one six to eight feet from the end of the field. Yeah. The tassel will be dry, but the important part's the taste. The taste of the tassel when the corn is ready for harvest is buttery. Mm. I'm not sure this field is uh, ready for harvesting. But you can't be sure until you perform all three tests. Quite right. Next, we'll do the squeezing of the ear. The squeezing of the ear is a crucial test. Ear must be squeezed at its biggest part. And if the corn juice comes out, the crop may be ready for harvest. The test is simple. It is best to hold the corn about waist high to squeeze. It also helps to put it between your thighs. <laughs> that isn't very much juice. Perhaps the corn isn't ready. Oh, man. I believe the corn is ready. 
as you can see, the corn juice is white in color. Your color may vary. Whoops. Oh, jeez. And finally, whack the stalk against a soft object. You need to whack it really hard to get a good test. If the stalk doesn't break, the corn may be ready for harvest. We did the stalk test, the tassel test, and the ear test. I believe this crop is ready for harvest. I couldn't agree more. Everyone should test their corn crop starting the beginning of September. Right, Scott? That's right, Troy. For Ag East of Salem, I'm Troy Nelson. And I'm Scott Pearson. Be sure to visit our website and join us again next time. This show sucked. It, it doesn't do nothing about masturbation. I don't need no corn to masturbate. I masturbate it, it, anything. Just about I, corn don't do for me. It, I think Mr. Hoper uses corn as a butt plug, but that's about it. Well, you know, Troy, that wasn't too darn bad. But damn right. I got one question for you. Yeah? What else do you do with those corn cobs? Boy, you gotta pee or something after drinking all this beer? No, I've gotta go with the don't break the seal. Don't break the seal? Yeah. Is that why your hair's all blonde now? You, you're trying to store that shit up? What it, happens to that? It's it? going to the top of your head. Come on, I got some style. At least I change up what I'm doing. Like got some on. style? Style. You got a lot of style. You know that? A lot of style. Like about 350 oh, yeah. pounds of style. You should see my style. I, I see to, your style. I was training to be a tattoo artist this summer. You were? Yeah. It's all got my own place set up just to, down the road a little bit. Yeah? yeah hey, I mean, what do you get a you gotta get a bunch of crack whores and, and prison guards out there or something? A little bit of that. They're, they're my usual clientele, but let's check it out. Well you know, Brian, a pie won't be as good as clapping your feet, but we're desperate for anything right now, so let's take a look. Okay. Hey, rub my chin again? Yeah. I don't know, I'll rub my something else too. Tell you what. Ever since I was a little kid and my mom gave me my first tattoo at age two, I've always been wanted to become an artist myself. Except for uh, art wasn't really my high point. I mean, I could draw stick figures, but how many people want stick figures tattooed on them? Not many, but I decided to overcome those challenges and become a tattoo artist myself and I'm still working hard at it, and eventually one day I want to open up my own shop, but for now I do it out in the middle of nowhere here in this park and try to catch people walking by that might want a cheap tattoo. Boy, I, you know I had all those people at my house last week and they pissed me off, but I, I showed off my dancing game and I thought for sure that would get chicks calling me, but I'm getting, getting less, fewer calls than ever. So what am I gonna do? I need something more manly. I need a tattoo. That's it. That's it. Uh, I'll find a tattoo place. And then chicks will be all over me. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Oh! Oh, hey, here's a tattoo guy right here in the middle of the park. Okay. Kind of you know. Hey, you the tattoo guy? Yeah, that would be me. I was finishing up a new masterpiece. Would you like to have this put anywhere on your body? Like forehead, maybe? Well, no, I, I can't get it on my forehead. I got a hat. Oh, well, my other specialty is, is nudie women. Ooh. I could put one of those in your forearm. Look really good. No, I, I'm trying to pick up chicks by getting the tattoo, so I don't think the naked woman on, on the arm is a good idea. That would oh. kind of... They, they'd think I already have a woman. Well, how about mother then? That's that seems to be a pretty popular design. Well, I want the word mother on my arm. Well, mother it is. Then. All right, there we go. Okay, well let's get started then. All right. Hey, wait a minute. What the hell? You've got Crayola washable markers here. Well, not not licensed by the state yet, so oh. I'm only allowed to use markers and washable ones. I better get a discount then. Ah! Ow! Ah! Oh, wait a minute. That doesn't hurt. What 
the hell are you doing, you idiot? You're getting it outside the lines and everything. There you go, one perfectly done mother tattoo. What the hell is this? This doesn't say mother. One grade A mother this tattoo. M-U-T-H-O-R. This says Muthor. You the idiot, mother. I can't believe this. Can't you read? Ugh. I'm not even paying for this. I'm just oh, leaving. Jeez. Oh, Fine then, I don't this. need your I don't need your service. Got millions of customers, millions of fish in the sea that I can get tat give tattoos to. Hey, what the hell are you thinking, you, you stupid son of a Hey, hey, what the hell you let this uh, big old fat guy draw on your <laughs> MR for? Ain't hey, you got enough mess all over your house uh, that rather than making your body a mess? Well, how the hell did I know he wasn't gonna be any damn good? Look, look at this stupid son of a bitch! Hey, look at him! How, what the hell you think? Well, okay, you got a point there, but, you know, I was just trying to get chicks. Get chicks? How the hell you expect to get chicks with a... a the apartment like you got and in 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 big old blotches the the squid ink on your damn arm hey mr helper you're being uh, awful quiet down there today um you got anything to add to the show or anything i mean boy you're looking awful pale today and awful drained do you have anything you want to say anything anything for the show Hi kids, it's me Mr. Helper, and you know, you're just little kids now, but someday you're going to grow up, and I just want you to know that when you grow up, it's great. You know what's so great about being a grown up? Because doggone it, when you're big and all grown up, you can eat all the candy you want to, and nobody's going to tell you not to. That's right. You just go ahead and eat candy anytime you want to. Nobody's going to tell you you can't. You're going to be big, and you're going to grow up. going to say, don't spoil your supper. You can spoil it all you want to. And not only can you eat candy anytime you want to, you know what else is great about being a grown-up? You can go to bed whenever you want to. Heck, if it's 3 o'clock in the morning and you don't want to be in bed yet, just get on up. Who cares? Nobody can tell you. you got to be to bed at a certain time. Right now, you probably got to go to bed at 9, 10 o'clock. Not me! Ah. So yes sir, kids, it's great being a big person. Like I said, you can eat candy anytime you want to and go to bed whenever you want to. And it's really good. I don't know what my parents are talking about, I don't see any, any bad effects from it. Oh, yeah, still a case. I'm getting tired. You know this guy, he actually runs a daycare in his it. day job. Hey, the, what the what the hell are those th people thinking? Those people must be smoking crack or something. I I don't know if I'd let my damn kid go to this place. That guy's nothing but a, a pedophile Michael Jackson uh, kidnapper waiting to happen. Boy, that's pretty strong stuff. That's right. Boy. You see what he's doing to those kids? Yeah. Hey, and that's just the stuff that we're allowed to show on TV. You should see all the stuff that he had to cut out of there. You seen the stuff? Oh my God! I've never seen it. I don't. I don't want to see it now. I tell you what, most of the episodes and the stuff that I've seen so far, pretty much suck. What so do you I've... mean, pretty much? That Troy thing, that sucks. Yeah, that, that Brian thing, that really sucks. Yeah. And Dan, well, I... did he go yet? Yeah, he went. He went. Hey, see, that's how good that was. I don't even remember. Yep. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a grocery store and ask people to like mash and stuff and just kind of get their views on mash and mash things and mash stuff. No, oh, you know where you should go. Where should I go? Uh, Sunshine. Sunshine? Nice. I bet you they got a lot of, the, 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 you know, white trash mash loving people at Sunshine. You got that right. If there's white trash, it's in Sunshine. That's right. That's right. That's right. All right. Well, we better get going to the, the Sunshine. Let's go! Let's go! Hey, you know the show MASH? Yes. You like the show MASH? I've seen it before, it's alright. What's your favorite uh, part about MASH? Mm. I 
don't know. No. I don't know. The favorite part about MASH, I'd say, is the jokes. Jokes. Okay, well, thank you very much. Have a good day. Enjoy your shopping. You know the show MASH? I sure do. Yeah, do you like the show MASH? Uh, at times, at times. At times. Uh, what's your favorite part about the show? Uh, can I just name one, something about one of the actors? Sure, why not? Um, one of them was from my hometown. Get out of here! All right, was it, uh, what's his name? Um, uh, Radar O'Reilly, yeah. Where was he from? Was he from Iowa somewhere? Iowa, it's from Iowa. Really? You're from there. Do you know him? No. Do you like the show MASH? Yeah, yeah. What's your favorite part about MASH? Um, uh, I suppose Radar O'Reilly. Radar O'Reilly. Um, do you like Stephanie Fisher? Never heard of her. Do you like the TV show MASH? Loved it. Loved it. What is your favorite part about the TV show MASH? Was it one of the actors? Was it a specific episode? Anything? I don't know. I can't. Everything, actually. Everything. The whole experience? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's all we have today. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. Cool. You ever seen the TV show MASH? No. You've never seen MASH? Never. Radar, Alan Alda, Hawkeye. No. How old are you, can I ask? Twelve. You're twelve, so you probably have never seen MASH. No. So if you were to watch MASH, what would be your favorite part of MASH? I don't know. You don't know? Okay, well, thank you for your time today. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Can we ask you a couple questions? F*** you. Well, what do you mean, f*** you? Come on. Just a couple of simple questions. Okay? Questions? Come on. Hey. I don't even want people to know I can shop at Sunshine, man. Hey, you kind of look like Bob Cupcha. F*** you, you fat son of a hey, Just wait, just wait. Hey, you know that TV show, MASH? F*** MASH. Do you like MASH? F*** MASH. Do you, do you like Stephanie Fisher? F*** Stephanie Fisher. Okay, well, thank you very much for your time today, sir. Have a good day. Gee, that, that, was, a, that was the best one yet, I yep, think. I think so. I think they, they, all these other... Sons of bitches should be ashamed of themselves. Yeah. yeah. What do you mean? Hey, you know what? You know what I really like about going to that sunshine? What do you like about that? I like the pie. pie? You know, hey, Dan, hand me that pie that we bought. Yeah, All we right. bought a pie when we were there. There you go. Look at this. Ooh, apple pie. Ooh, pie. Apple pie. Hey, get the hey, get your, your fat stinking hands off of here. Look at that. Oh, man. Hey. Oh, your hands. Some pie? Hey, it's my pie, damn it. Uh. Hit the pie. Hey, get hey. out of there. So what do you think this is? Hey. You know, I like that cute chick. I wish that really cute chick would let us. Hey, get out of there, fat boy. I, I wish that really cute chick over that sunshine would have let us film her, you know, yeah. in the back room, if you know what I mean. Oh, I know what you mean. Oh. oh. Come on, got some pie? I said no, you can't have no <laughs> pie, you, you fat <laughs> bitch. Ah. Oh. So what do we want to do next week, anyway? I don't know what we want to do. We'll do a pie episode. How about, yeah, we do some more. How about we have a whole episode dedicated to pie? That's what kind of pie. Do, then. I don't know, you like that hair pie. You've been talking pie. about it all the time. Hair pie, yeah, yeah. That would be the best episode ever. What's Give me some pie, pie, Ernie. No! I said no, you stupid! Get this! Hey, you, hey, get out of here, honey. I ain't giving you no pie. That's the last time I want to hear no you no pie. You too. Hey. Hey. Ah. Damn, that pie looks to be the shiz nigget. Give me some. That's right. Yeah. When are you gonna start working on that audio? I think the audio in this episode sucks. That's all your fault, ain't it? I don't know. Am I supposed to be talking about you? Shh, shh, shh. Turn dog, come in. Roger, break up one nine. I want a piece of pie. Big Bri wants a piece of pie. Oh, right! You want some yeah. pie? I, yeah. I give you some pie. Take your pie! You stupid son of a
You ever heard of the Captain Caribou show? No, I have not. Oh, good. Can I ask you a couple questions? Okay. You all, you watch the Captain Caribou show? Yeah, I do. Great. Okay. I think that you should ask street people in downtown Sioux Falls for directions to the Washington Pavilion, for spare change. You know, just see what kind of response you can get from them. Okay, well, we'll talk to the producers of the show and see what we can do for you. Thanks. Hey, that was pretty cool. That guy's a fan of the Captain Caribou show. You know Tom Arnold? Yeah, I've, I've seen him around. I'm not friends with him or anything, but yeah, I know Tom. What, is he from Ottumwa, Iowa, too? Um, Eldon. Eldon? Outside of Ottumwa. Pretty close? Yeah. Okay, well, thank you very much. Oh, man.